Hey friends, uh, welcome to today's episode. I want to talk a little bit about the usefulness of live view when you're using it for landscape photography. So this is any time you're going to be set up on a tripod. Live view in Nikon cameras has come a long way from when it was first introduced. Um, it started off as just an option setting when they added video capture to uh, DSLRs like the D300S. But now um, you can do a lot of really cool things with live view that I want to show you here in a second. But there's two real huge advantages of live view. One I've talked about already and that's the focusing. When you're using live view in single point focus you can put the focusing point anywhere on the screen which is extremely useful when you're doing things like close-up or macro photography or landscapes where you want to precisely place the focus point you can do it anywhere on the screen unlike the traditional focus where you're limited to the autofocus area in the sensors the other big advantage of focusing with live view is that it allows you to focus using the camera's sensor as the focusing um, uh, module instead of the built-in phase detection autofocus system. Now while this is a slower way to focus, you're focusing using the sensor itself so you get a far more accurate focus point. Um, that's really key when you're using high resolution cameras like you know a D810 or something like that or a D750. But more recently Nikon's brought in some even better features into their live view options and some of these are hidden and these things include things like the um, artificial horizon and the grid lines and things you can bring up but there's one that's really useful for landscape photography and that's the live view histogram and it doesn't come up normally um, unless you set up your camera a certain way to use something called exposure preview so what you want to do is go into your camera manual and see if your camera offers an exposure preview mode in live view the the d800 the d810 the d500 they all do the d750 does but if you're not sure go and look up exposure preview in your manual to see if it's offered. This is more recent Nikon cameras. So let's take a look over here on how to set that up to get a real-time live view histogram on your camera. Let's come over to my D750 and I'm going to fire up live view. So to do that you want to make sure your live view switch here is in the in the um, camera mode not the video mode and then just press the live view button and you'll get the live view screen okay there we go and we can take a look at that now one of the things I love about live view is the ability to focus anywhere so by just moving my directional pad around we can um, move this little red dot in the viewfinder and I can focus on any part of the screen that I want and that's really, really nice. And I've got my camera set so that if I hit the back button, it will focus. And you can see it's green there. So that's one advantage of Live View. But the really great new feature in Live View is the um, ability of some of these Nikons to give you a real time histogram in Live View. And by default, it's not activated. Normally, what you'll do is you can use the, the info button here to cycle through a bunch of different overlays in the live view mode. So there's a grid, there's the artificial horizon. So if I move the camera, you can see that the artificial horizon moves. Okay. Hit it again, and I'll get the shooting info, the autofocus mode, the picture control, the white balance, that sort of thing. Um, hit info again, and it clears the screen. So on a on a D750 and some of the other cameras, there is another set of options. And if you come down here to this little I button on the left, and other cameras that might be in a different spot, press I, and you get this other menu pops up here on the right-hand side. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom and choose Exposure Preview. Okay, if your camera has exposure preview, and many of the higher end Nikons do, the, the D750 does, the D500 does, um, the D810 certainly does. Um, and in some cameras, it, it's um, toggled in a different way. But on a D750, you come over here to exposure preview, and you toggle that to um, on. So you press the center button, toggle up to on, hit on. And now I'm going to hit I again to get out of that. Now, notice when, when I get exposure preview on, I've got the uh, light meter right here. That's pretty cool. 
and I'm I'm set to um, uh, I forget which uh, program mode I'm in. I'm in manual, but this will work also if I switch to aperture or shutter. Okay, but I'm just in manual here, and you can see my exposure readouts at the bottom. Now, as long as you can see this little light meter grid, okay, uh, it's going to preview the exposure for me, and I can use that light meter. But what's even cooler now is if I go to my info button and I cycle through my overlays, you'll notice now I've got a real-time histogram. And if you're in manual exposure mode, this is great because I can just adjust the histogram, I can adjust the shutter speed or the aperture to the point where I know I'm not clipping any highlights. And that's tremendously useful when I'm doing landscape photography. Let me show you how to access the live view histogram in the Nikon D810. So when I open up live view normally, I get this preview here like we had before. And by using the info button, you can cycle through all the various overlays. So we can go through and you get the, the artificial horizon, the info screen, blank, or the grid lines. So to activate exposure preview in the D5, the D500, the D810, just press the OK button down here at the lower left. And now you've got the little light meter comes up. And if I use the info button to toggle, yep, there it is. I've got my live view histogram. So all I need to do now is just adjust my shutter speed if you're in manual mode to um, get a histogram that looks good. And I can use that. Um, in the field. It's extremely useful.